Highways for a start and this is a review of the SH Figure. It's Kamen Rider Drive Type Speed in 20 Kamen Rider Kicks uh, version. So this is the packaging um, similar to the initial riders I've reviewed before. Uh, we have all the logos that uh, is really visible and even the Tabashi seal of quality right here. Kamen Rider Drive, Kamen Rider Drive on this side, um, what it looks like at the bottom and on the top. And then at the back, uh, poses. Uh, this is the original pose for the first version, and it includes the stage. And um, this is the only, probably the only um, 20 Kamen Rider Kicks version I'll be reviewing in full because I've never, you know, um, reviewed this before. So let's jump into it so you'll know what this is inclusive with and the actual figure itself. The SH Figures Kamen Rider Drive Type Speed in 20 Kamen Rider Kicks Edition simply has no difference with the original version. The figure itself still has the signature car theme extremities such as the spoiler on the head, the driver and the Type Speed tire on the waist and upper torso. Drive still has that crisp, glossy red finish almost like what normal cars would have. Gimmick on the figure remains the same. Parts that can be detached are the shift car on the waist, the tire on the figure, shift cars on the belt holder, however these can't replace the ones on the wrist. Finally, the driver on the cover and the face on the belt are also detachable which are useful if you have the Tridor on. Accessories include forehands and the 20 Kamen Rider Kick stage. So let's go through the articulation points for this figure. We have a head and neck joint right here and then the shoulder pads go in and out and forward and back and then upper torso and waist articulation. We have a really good range of motion right here, uh, upper bicep swivel, an elbow joint, a wrist joint right here, and then uh, leg articulation, you can do the splits if you want to, uh, double jointed knees, an ankle joint, and a toe joint. So some of the hindrances of this figure would be, you know, swiveling the arm from in and out from the body because of the huge tire right here and um, I think it's, he is kind of like a bow-legged figure um, probably in my version because I do I did have the first version um, or the original version in the original packaging it's just that uh, when uh, as, so, as far as I could remember uh, my version my the first one uh, the original version um, wasn't bow-legged but uh, nevertheless you will still get the same um, joint system for the uh, 20 Kamen Rider version 20, 20 Kamen Rider kicks version and um, this is still a good figure if you miss the first one this is a good alternative it's, except you will miss out on the tire kokan and um, the flame effects that came with the first edition and um, some of the parts right here like the uh, the uh, cars right here and even on the wrist uh, do detach quite a lot uh, similar to the first version if you have the first version and you see any problems with it we'll definitely see the same thing with uh, Kamen Rider Drive in the 20 Kamen Rider Kicks version what is missing are the flame effects and the first edition tire kokan exclusive in my special edition the joints seem to be tighter especially on the knees and on the ankles but rest assured if you found any faults from the regular version, you'll find it here as well. Otherwise, if you missed the original version, be prepared on just small things that you will miss out on and you'll end up searching for these in the future. And that is my review of the SH Figures Kamen Rider Drive Type Speed in 20 Kamen Rider Kicks Edition. If you want to know the possibilities for this figure, to check out the photos at the end of the video and don't forget to like, share this video, and subscribe to the channel for more SH Figures reviews.